and welcome to Plantraco. In this video we're going to show you how to set up the carbon butterfly. First thing you want to do is open up the box, remove your instruction manual and CD-ROM. There's an FMS flight simulator cable that you can plug into your transmitter and computer to learn to fly. And then there's a warning label that says don't touch this butterfly until you've read that warning label. Um, there's your LP30 lithium polymer Bahoma cell and your transmitter. So first thing you can do is put AA batteries into your transmitter, then flip the switch to the middle position, put the battery on the charger. When this light goes off, then your, your cell will be fully charged. When your cell is charged, you can remove the LP30 cell, flick your transmitter to the far right to the on position, and then pick up your carbon butterfly airplane and attach the lithium polymer cell. We pick it up with two fingers just as shown on the leading and trailing edges of the wing and transfer it to the other hand and get our LP30 lithium polymer cell to schnick right in place. Notice you hear the tones coming from the actuator in the tail. Those tones indicate what frequency we've synchronized to. Now we can arm our throttle by pushing the joystick forward and back. Now we'll have our throttle active. You'll have to notice that, that the throttle won't work on the first sweep forwards. You have to bring it all the way forwards and all the way back to arm the throttle. And now we can take a look to confirm that our rudder is doing what it should. As we move the stick to the right or left, we notice that the rudder follows the motion. Okay, it's time for a test flight. Now we're back from our flying session and we're ready to recharge the cell. We can usually fly for about 10 minutes on the carbon butterfly. So we take off the cell and hold on to the carbon butterfly and put it back into its place. Turn the charger to charge mode in the middle position, open the door and attach the cell. It will just snick into place and when uh, the this LED it goes out, that means the cell is recharged. That takes about one hour to recharge, 10 minutes flying time. So back in the box and we're good to go next time. Wing incidence is the angle the wing makes with respect to the fuselage stick. We're going to adjust it at the rear pylon. What we do is to grip the pylon with one hand and then squeeze the fingers underneath the wing and squeeze the wing up just like so and that takes off some incidence from the wing. We can add or remove incidence as we require it. And now we can take a look at the thrust line which is the angle that the propeller makes with respect to the fuselage. Usually we have some down thrust and a little bit of right thrust. We can adjust the thrust line by gripping the gearbox with the right hand and then gripping the propeller and spur gear with the left and then bending the plastics and even the axle which is perfectly fine to do and we'll get the desired thrust line adjustment that way. After we make the uh, thrust line adjustment we would do a test fly and see if it needs to have a little more tweaking. Here we can see we have about 2 or 3 degrees right thrust, which is about right. The actuator hinge line is made of a plastic material and sometimes we can find that the rudder will be stuck in kind of a, a sideways position. So if it's stuck to the side, like leaning one way like so, then what you do is hang on to the actuator, grip it carefully on the, on the rudder and on the coil, and then pull apart just like so. A gentle stretch is all you need and then you'll find that the actuator rudder is nice and loose again which is exactly what you want. Thank you for your attention and have fun with your carbon butterfly. <laughs>